gutting the 70-year-old building. At least one fireman was injured battling the flames when he slipped on ice formed by water from the fire hoses. In fact, the sub-freezing temperatures made it difficult to get the huge blaze under control. And by the time it was contained, the only thing left of the courthouse was the outside shell. This morning, the ruins were still smoking. County officials say all of the tag and tax records in the courthouse were apparently destroyed. Although county court records were saved because they had been stored in a fireproof room in the clerk's office. Fire officials believe the blaze started on the third floor, but the exact cause of that fire is still not known. A faulty space heater is... The house in Griffin is a blackened ruin tonight. Flames gutted the building late last night. Fire officials say the courthouse might have been saved had it had an alarm system. For five desperate, bitter cold hours, Griffin firefighters poured thousands of gallons of water on the 70-year-old Spalding County Courthouse, but their efforts to save parts of the building failed. The blaze had too good of a head start on the firemen to be stopped. Officials believe faulty wiring in a basement ceiling was to blame. They also feel that because there was no fire alarm system, the fire was able to spread rapidly from the basement up to the three other floors. The county commission has been told repeatedly that the old building was a fire trap. We have had problems down, you know, through the years of uh, certain discrepancies, but I say the county has recently been uh, working on the courthouse and trying to get it updated. But though the building is a total loss, valuable old documents and records were left, for the most part, intact. They'd been placed in huge fireproof vaults. With that headache out of the way, county commissioners turned to the task of figuring out just what to do about temporary offices. No decision has been reached yet on how to replace the county landmark. G. Murray Kelly, 11 Alive News in Griffin.